Hey, hello everybody here with the Colombian Tours, also over here from the beautiful Santa Marta, one of the most beautiful cities of the Colombian Caribbean, and you got to see this because we're going to have an special day. Vamos a tener un día muy especial hoy, aquí en Guía por Colombia, así que disfrútenlo todo desde Santa Marta. Mi nombre es Néstor Meléndez y la van a pasar very good. You're going to have a great time over here in Santa Marta, so just enjoy my tour here from Santa Marta. Colombia, my country! Welcome to Colombian Tours here from Santa Marta today. Here we're going to have a great day, so just be checking out what we have to, for you today from Santa Marta in the Departamento of Magdalena in Colombia, my country. Okay, guys, I'm going to tell you one thing. Santa Marta is turning to be a cruise ship destination and they arrive there to the port of santa marta that is the cruise uh, port destination when you get out of the port you're going to do like a short excursion that we are going to do today here in colombian tours for everybody that comes over here to santa marta it's also kind of a city tour so you if you are here in santa marta you must do the things we are going to show to you here in the downtown Santa Marta, and we are also going to El Rodadero and many special places over here at Santa Marta, in my country, Colombia. Okay, when you get down from the ship, you're going to walk by the Malecon. The Malecon is uh, the place that connects with the beach here at the Bay of Santa Marta. Santa Marta is... Uh, the most ancient city of all Colombia. It was founded by Rodrigo de Bastidas. And from here, they went to conquer all the country. And they were to conquer or to conquistar what is today Colombia. In those times, they named it La Nueva Granada. Here we are at Santa Marta, Colombia. Okay, 1525 was uh, the date of founding of Santa Marta is the oldest city in all South America and this guy was founded by Rodrigo de Bastidas. Simon Bolivar, born in Caracas on 24th of July of 1783, and he died here in Santa Marta, December the 17th, or 1830. This is the coat of arms of the Republic of Colombia. You see, the Condor of Los Andes, meaning our liberty. These are meaning our richness, this is the liberty, and this represented the Isthmus of Panama. Colombia had possession over the Isthmus of Panama before 1903, when they got independent with a little bit of help from Theodore Roosevelt and the Marines.
He is a Libertador of Colombia, Ecuador, Panama, Peru, and Venezuela, and also Panama, and founder of Bolivia. This is uh, a gift from the people of Venezuela to Colombia. Hey guys, we're working, walking right here by Santa Marta. Remember to subscribe to my channel, Colombian Tours, and uh, you'll get all the information about Colombia. We're right now going around here, Santa Marta, just walking by, seeing what you have to see when you come to Santa Marta. And uh, remember to book my private tours all around Colombia. You will have fun with me, guys, and with my daughter, which is also the producer of the show, Stefania, and Nestor will take you around all Colombia. And now today with Federico. Oh, hello. The tour guide in Santa Marta. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, man. The tour guide in Santa Marta. And also Paula, who's a specialist in Santa Marta, also giving you the welcome to this beautiful city of the Colombian Caribbean. Look at this. Come on. What are you waiting for? Book my tours. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you get more information. Welcome from Colombia. Hey, welcome from Colombia. Yeah, man. Thank you. Peace and love. Peace and love, man. And remember to share it and like it if you like it. And if you want to share it all around, please subscribe to my channel, Colombian Tours. This is the fish plaza over here in uh, Santa Marta, and uh, this is where you can get all the fish, shrimp, and everything fresh from the sea. Right now it is a little bit late because uh, right here you get everything moving a uh, very early hour. But you can see all the fishes. Yes, I... ¿Qué señor? Muchos años vendiendo pescado. Siempre. ¿Hace cuánto? Ahora hay unos 45 años. He, he's been 45 years selling fish. ¿Y este qué es? Ese es albacora. Albacora, rico. Claro. Mucha carne, ¿no? Sí, señor. ¿Cuál es su pescado favorito? La sierra. La sierra, mío claro. también. Me gusta mucho. Eso. Eso. Gracias. Bien. This is dried fish. Hey, how are you? Here we are in Santa Marta at El Rodadero, one of the most famous beaches of Santa Marta. This is El Rodadero, and this is just a wonderful beach. You have to come over here to know. Remember to subscribe to my channel. This is Colombian Tours, right here today from Santa Marta, in the Departamento of Magdalena, in Colombia, my country.
Okay, here we are at the Banco de la República, the Republic Bank of Colombia, and they're celebrating Gabo. And they have here this splendorous timeline where you can see everything about Gabriel Garcia Márquez, born March the 6th in Aracataca, Magdalena, very near here to Santa Marta. And... Right there in 1928, the workers went in against the United Fruit Company. You know, the banana company? They killed many workers because they were asking for some of the rights uh, that they were denied at those times. So it was Los Sucesos de las Bananeras. It was something that happened in the banana zone of the Magdalena Department, the Department of Magdalena, the November the 13th of 1929 it was a total massacre many 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 people got dead in uh, hands of the colombian army that fired them at the orders of the united fruit company in those times so he goes on 1930 1937 1940 when he studied in san jose in barranquilla and look at this. This is uh, when he entered the high school in Zipaquirá, very near to Bogotá. He went over there to study at the Liceo Nacional de Varones in Zipaquirá. And then he started to study Derecho, Law, at the Law School at the Universidad Nacional of Colombia. And that was when he reached uh, Franz Kafka, okay? 1948, something very important for the history of Colombia. 9 of April was the Bogotazo. They killed, they murdered a very important leader of the Liberal Party, Jorge Elias Gaitan. And it ended in a big time revolution all around the country. So there was a curfew. They sent them to Cartagena. He gets a work in uh, the newspaper El Universal. And from there on, he started to write, 1949, he gets out of the violence. They live in Cartagena for a few days, and then he goes to Barranquilla, and then he goes back to Bogota. You see him here, like when he was working in El Espectador, then one of the most important newspapers of Bogota. And then, finally, in 1955, he published La Ojarasca, okay? 1956, the dictatorship of Gustavo Rojas Pinilla closes El Espectador, and that guy goes with no money, he goes to Paris, and there he meets a lot of people, a lot of friends, a lot of intellectual people that was living in France by those times. In 1959, the Cuban Revolution, that played a big role also in uh, Garcia Marquez's life, Fidel Castro, he was a very good friend of him, 1961, Alvaro Mutis, a very good friend of Garcia Marquez, gives him uh, uh, Juan Rulfo, a book for Juan Rulfo, and he was also a big influence into him, also with Carlos Fuentes, and her agent, that was Carmen Balcés, the one that gets to publish La Mala Hora, and she always believed in him, till those times, till these times. In 1967, the big break, Cien Años de Soledad, it was published. 
100 Years of Solitude. This is the original cover by Editorial Suramericana that was the only um, printing, uh, the only um, editorial or uh, publishing company that published Cien Años de Soledad, and it was an instant success. And from there on, Gabo started to fly, and at 10 December of 1982, he gets the Nobel Prize Award in 1982. Look at this. This is a... Uh, actually, it was the first Latin American to receive the Nobel Prize Award of, um, for literature, the first Latin American they have it. 1985 was published El Amor en los Tiempos del Cólera, or how you say, Love in the Times of the Cholera. And this is the life of Gabriel Garcia Marquez here at the library of El Banco de la República. And the library is called Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is the people that fix the shoes is over here. Está arreglando los tenis, ¿no? Arreglando los zapatos, sí, señor. Ah, qué maravilla. No? Arreglando los tenis porque se estrellaron en una bicicleta y los rompieron. Ah, vea usted, y usted los y deja como yo nuevos. Los estoy, los estoy restaurando para que vuelvan otra vez a servir y quedan otra vez sí. sirviendo. Y se volvió usted experto en tenis. Sí, en experto en zapatería. En todo. <risa> en todo, sí. Ah, qué bien. Soy en bolo también, ilustra botas. Claro. ¿Eh? ¿Y hace cuánto trabaja acá en Santa Marta? Siete años. Ah, ok. ¿Y de dónde es? Tolimense. Ah, bien. El rico de... vivir acá. Sí, señor. Sí, señor. Ah, bueno. Pero a pesar de que es rico, ahora que estoy acá, eh, añoro mi tierra porque yo no había visto la belleza que es, que es el departamento del Tolima. Bonito, ¿no? Oh, hermosísimo, hermosísimo. Y... Yo soy del piel Nevado del Ruiz. Ah, lindo. Yo tengo la experiencia de haber caminado sobre hielo. Ah. Haber caminado y el hielo traquear en la planta del pie. Wow. Pero soy de allá. Soy de allá. Qué maravilla. ¿De qué pueblo? Murillo. De Murillo, Tolima. De Murillo, Tolima. Sí, señor. Un saludo especial a la gente a de la Murillo. A la gente de Murillo, sí, señor. Gracias. <risa> Dale.